Hi everybody, this is Audrey from Country Stampers and today I have this beautiful thank you card using um, the beautiful base uh, Butterfly Basics and I'm also using the Butterfly uh, Thinlets as well to create this card and it's just a beautiful simple thank you card hand out to somebody um, three colors that we're using for stamp pads is Pear, Pear Pizzazz, Sierra Sand, and Tip Top Taupe. Tip Top Taupe is one of the 2015 to 2017 in colors that will be staying with us for another year. So, and then for the card itself, you're going to need a piece of Whisper White. And this is cut at four and a quarter by 11 inches and it's scored at five and a half. A piece of chocolate chip and this is cut at four inches by five and a quarter. Another piece of whisper weight for stamping and this is cut at three and three quarters by five inches. And then I just have a piece of scrap chocolate chip for the butterfly. So it's real fun and it's simple um, to do some stamping and I find it relaxing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece of Whisper White, three and a quarter by five inches, and I'm going to take the tip top tote and I'm actually going to stamp my sentiment first. And if you're not sure um, that you're getting even with stamping, you can pick up our stamp -a jig um, I picked one up and I haven't used it yet. Um, I plan on this week. So all I'm going to do is stamp my sentiment up at the top. Trying to make sure that I'm straight. That looks good. And then I am done with the tip top tote. But I'm going to bring in now my Sierra Sand. And I'm using, it looks like honeycomb. I don't know if you can see that or not right there. Um, and I'm actually going to stamp some at full, full ink. And then I'm actually going to stamp some um, like a secondary stamp. So like now I'll just lift and I'll slide over and stamp again and that way it's a little bit lighter and then I'm just gonna stamp over again and I'm not worrying if I'm overlapping um, it just gives it that added texture look and then I'm just gonna stamp again and you just randomly stamp almost like giving yourself um, like a background and this one here, I'm going to stamp a little bit inwards. So, and now we're done with the Sierra Sand. And I'm going to bring in the Pear Pizzazz. And I'm going to bring in the, it looks like fern leaves. I just absolutely love these. And I'm also going to do the same thing with this one as well, is I'm going to do some off stamping as well. And I'm not worried about making it match my last card. I'm um, just going to randomly stamp again. Bring this one over a little more. These cards are fun to make. I just love playing with my stamps. And this one here I can bring up a little more. It's, you know, it's so simple and elegant. And, you know, people love handmade cards. And there. Now my stamping is all done. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this framelit from the Butterflies Framelit and I'm going to take this over to my Big Shot and cut it out. I'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm back now, and I left it attached to the paper so I can show you another tool that we have. And I did run this through a couple of times, through the Big Shot, and I'm actually going to use our dye brush in matte to release this from the framelit. And all I'm going to do is just go over this nice and lightly and remove it from our framelit. Sometimes it'll remove it um, completely for you. Sometimes um, it just gets all those little pieces out, but makes it so much easier to remove it from the framelit. And these little pieces pop right out. So now let me set that aside. Now my butterfly is all set and I like to give it a little bend and I'm not going to add that just yet. I'm going to put my card base together. And then I'm actually going to remove that. Now I pre-scored my card base at five and a half. So I wouldn't get any tears on my my fold. And I'm just going to take some snail adhesive and add my mat. Making sure I have even space all the way around. And there we go. Now I'll add my stamp layer. And these cards are nice and quick. And I'm actually posting this as my day three card challenge for a card a day in May. So, but I'm actually giving this card to one of my mom's visiting nurses that comes and takes care of her. So now I'm going to take my dimensionals and along the edge here, I'm just going to cut one of these right in half for the back of my butterfly. And on the back side, there's room enough for one of the, well, two of these to give it some dimension. And pull off the backing. I don't have any fingernails, so, and I'm just going to line this up so I don't cover up my sentiment. And it already stuck. Oh, there we go. And there we go. Now I'm going to take some of our basic pearls and I'm using this size right here in the center and I'm just going to add two of them right to my butterfly. There we go. And another one right here. And there you go. Oh, I somehow got a little one over there. And there you go. See how quick and fast that uh, fast that was. And now you have a beautiful card to hand out to anybody. You can use this as a birthday card, uh, just to say hello card, whatever you want. You don't have to use it as a thank you card. And it was just that fun to make. So all the supplies and the measurements will be listed um, down below, as well as on my blog. Um, make sure that you subscribe and um, if you are new to Stampin' Up! and are looking for a demonstrator, I would be more than uh, happy to be your demonstrator and uh, help you along. If you're looking at joining Stampin' Up! please contact me or stop over to my website um, and click on Join the Fun. I would love to have you a part of my team. Uh, we do challenges and uh, monthly meetings and, you know, we all help each other out. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's project and come back again soon. Happy crafting, everybody. Bye.